The Happy Cafe and Talking Freely are two new local schemes aimed at highlighting the importance of mental health. In a quest to help people improve their mental well-being, the Happy Cafe is a safe place within the community where resources and volunteers are available to help make a difference to anyone living with depression and anxiety. From my own experience, it is incredibly helpful that you learn from other people. I think we can all learn so much from other people in this respect. And one of the most important things is to know that that you're not alone in this situation, that there are other people out there that um, have been perhaps through a similar experience to you. Um, and being able to talk about that in a very supportive and positive way, um, I think is offering something very valuable to people. And as well as highlighting the seriousness of mental well-being, Talking Freely aims to encourage people to speak up about the challenges they face, as this can provide some comfort. People, um, when they feel empowered to talk openly about mental health, they are more inclined to seek help. It, it, it's seen as a very positive way of breaking back stigma. So many of the stigmas that existed um, that prevented me from seeking help within this type of open environment um, you know that they help uh, people to overcome that and, and to realize as well that actually you're not alone but when you're in that moment yourself and in the throes of, of mental illness it can seem like you're the only person in the world it's happening to and actually talking freely exposes that you know that isn't the case. The Happy Cafe and Talking Freely are two separate projects but are running side by side to offer a variety of support. But how can both be beneficial? The Happy Cafe and Action for Happiness is possibly for people who are able to take action themselves and are in that position to take action for themselves and of course not everybody is not everybody like I wasn't to start with not everybody wants to come to a cafe and chat to people they're not able to do that so therefore Tony's group signposts to lots of other different organizations and support groups um, at, the, at the kind of other end if you like of, of mental well-being maybe for people who do need that more structured support or more directed help. Around one in four people are struggling with mental health challenges every day in the UK and Tony feels that both the Happy Cafe and Talking Freely are a stepping stone to acknowledging how dangerous mental health issues can be. The prevalence of mental illness in society is a serious, serious problem. Mental illness, it's not about being a little bit stressed. It's, it's an illness that causes death. And, and we can't. We have to accept this and face up to it. It's as serious as chronic physical health problems. And for Tony, the idea of talking freely about mental well-being has stemmed from his own personal experience of living with depression. I realised that I'd been very reluctant to seek help, very reluctant to speak honestly and openly about it, very reluctant to admit that I had a problem, and that really is down to social attitudes and the stigma that surrounds mental illness um, you know for a variety of reasons i didn't want to be labeled i didn't want my career to suffer um, all of these other things that people associate with a diagnosis um, so I, I received my diagnosis and and it would be wrong to say that it's been a, a plain sailing since then. You know, I'd say mental health is something that I continue to struggle with. The Happy Cafe and Talking Freely will launch together in July and will offer a variety of support, advice and help in the local area. This is Kachira Sestine for That's TV.